Hey, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. <clears throat> Today I'm going to try something new that, you know, you guys are getting tried all these new things with me. I had an excessive amount of um, uh, spaghetti sauce. I don't even know how I've had it, even how I managed to even get that much of it. But anyways, I have a lot of it. So what I did is I took, I don't know, about 40 to 50 cans and I freeze dried it. It turned into two one half gallon jars and this. So with freeze dried stuff, usually it's a one to one ratio. So what I'm gonna do is I have like a coffee scoop and I'm gonna go ahead and, cause we're gonna have French bread pizza tonight. And what I wanted to do, especially for this pizza, is that I wanted to make sure that, you know, I didn't have to open up a whole can for just you know, like French bread pizza or whatever, but then I'll go ahead and get the water here in just a second here. Usually I'm a little bit more prepared. Anyway, so what I'll do is I'll take the water. I'm just using my filtered water. And I'll go ahead and put two. I should bring this down so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Two of that in my little bowl here. And I'll stir it. I can already see it needs a little bit more water personally because I don't like dry sauce like that. Wow, that just comes back so fast. Wow. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's... I mean, I can't taste it. I can almost smell it, which is really great because I've started smelling things again. Some things, not everything. Um, but yeah, I left that set for a minute because what we're going to do is make some French bread pizza. I'll be cutting up the, the bread here and stuff, and I will go ahead and put some spices in this, and I'll be right back. Okay, I ended up adding pretty much two of the scoops, or three of the scoops to two of the powder. And it definitely made it more, it could actually actually have just a little bit more water, honestly. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this French bread pizza. My husband, I think his eyeballs are going to be bigger than his belly today, but hey, whatever. He thinks he can eat the full half of this, and there is no way that's going to be happening. But what I'm going to do is... I should have put him more half and half there. But what I'll end up doing with mine is I'll probably eat half of dinner tonight and the other half will be for my lunch tomorrow. And I'm going to go ahead and add just a smidge more water in this. And that's one thing about the freeze-dried sauce. You know, you can control how much, how liquidy you want this to be versus how liquidy you don't want it to be. And I have not played enough with the sauces and like um, I have freeze dried eggs, I have freeze dried um, sour cream and um, all sorts of things that I freeze dried. So in just a minute I will go ahead and get this. I'm going to let that set for just a couple minutes longer and I'll be back. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some freeze dried mushrooms, green peppers and onions and I'm going to go ahead and put that and some water while I'm waiting for the sauce to reconstitute a little bit more. All right, this looks like it's been good enough here. And so what I'll do is start building the pizzas. And the, the vegetables have actually reconstituted very nicely too. I might have made it, should have made more pizza sauce, but I'm sure that's spaghetti sauce. That's all it is, a spaghetti sauce that I did, but. We haven't had French bread pizzas in a very long time. We used to make them all the time. I don't know why we stopped. Definitely like them. I should have definitely added a little bit more, a little bit more sauce. 
should have maybe done maybe like three scoops to the one, but that, that'll be fine. All right, now I usually do my pizzas this way. You can't even see everything I'm doing over here. Um, I usually do my pizzas this way. I put the cheese, then the toppings. No, I've never made pizzas for a living, so I probably am doing it wrong. I helped back in the day, once in a while, I'd help make pizzas when I worked at Westside Deli back when I was in high school. They've all since went out of business, and that's not cool. They had really good food. The one here in Frandor, they, that was one of, I think, one of the last ones. There might be one still somewhere here in Michigan, but I can't think of where. I think I've seen it. Got more cheese on the counter than I am on my stuff here. Now, like I said, we don't eat pork, but we do eat turkey or pepperoni. Got to get a new one of those out today. It's nice that they have pork tasting uh, things like they, they, they stopped making the turkey ham for whatever reason temporarily. A lot of people I see on the websites kind of really upset about that. They're like, bring back my my turkey ham, because not that I'm a ham person, I never liked ham, even when I ate pork. To me, it always smelled like pee. I just, I've never, I've never been a fan of. The only thing I really liked that was pork-wise was, um, the meat on the Italian subs and pork ribs. Now, I love me some pork ribs. And when I was pregnant for my daughter, I swear I had pork ribs just constantly. And I could eat, like, I swear a full rack at a setting, too, which I'm sure wasn't too healthy to do. So anyways, then I have, that's what they've reconstituted of the mushrooms green pepper and onion looks like. And of course I do this in hot water so these are a little bit hot. One thing about doing it this way, all the veggies are like all nicely mixed in there together. And then I did measure, because I wasn't for sure, but the June oven will actually take the full uh, French bread pizza, which I'm really shocked. I don't give that oven nowhere near the credit that it should have, I guess. Alright. Oh. off my fingers. And... My husband really likes the yellow peppers on his pizza. Usually we would have like, if we still had any of that turkey ham, sometimes we would do ham on here too. Sometimes if we have <clears throat> the turkey sausage, sometimes we've done that. I mean, I would definitely do that on his part here because he prefers more meat than I do. Other than steak and um, pretty much steak and um, hamburgers, I could pretty much be a vegetarian. Now that I've learned to like um, beans. But I'm going to go put this in the June. Okay, it's in the June. We'll see what the thing says if it actually knows it's pizza. The camera's dirty. It says pizza slice. I don't have a pizza slice, so they, I don't know why they think it's... I'll just go ahead and bake at like 375. And go ahead and hit start, and I'll be back. All right, and there's dinner. That looks really quite yummy, although a whole bunch of toppings fell out. 
but that's our French bread pizzas. Thanks for stopping by.